Hey, welcome everybody to the Seven Minutes to Better Selling podcast. I'm your host and um, also the president and founder of Developing the Next Leaders. As many of you know, who are return visitors to the show, um, I, you know our firm and I am on this mission of helping salespeople love what they do for a living. And when you're not very good at something or you're not doing something at your peak of expected performance, it's hard to like it, let alone love it. And so our job is we work with individuals, leaders, teams, and organizations in the sales world, helping them love what they do by improving every day. So from a logistics perspective, our title says we're the seven minutes of better selling podcast, but typically we're around seven to 10, seven to 12 minutes. This show is an exciting one. We have the show um, Ninja on with me, Simon. Um, Simon's kind of like Madonna or Pele, just needs one name. Um, he is the best of the best on with on with me for today. And we're going to talk about the best of the best ideas um, over the last couple of shows that we've um, spent together. And so I'm really, really excited about what we're going to do for all of you um, in the next, say, maybe nine minutes or so from, from now. All right. So, Simon, are you ready? Hi, Colin. How, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. And by the way, I'd like everyone to notice the beautiful shirt that Simon has on today. Sam, yeah. yeah, baby, there's some swag. I've come branded. You have come branded on your show. <laughs> <laughs> there's the swag. So you can you can get you can get one of those, but you have to kill someone in order to get one. That's the only way to get it. Um, uh, yeah, so Colin, right? I've been I've been watching your uh, podcast, right? This is a, a podcast number twenty nine. You have had some great episodes in the past, right? But uh, I, you get to ask a lot of tough questions to your guests, right? So we're gonna flip sides today. I'm I'm gonna put you on the hot seat, and let's do something different in this episode. I'm gonna ask you some tough questions, okay? I so ready for that. I love it. And and Colin, market, you only have ninety seconds to answer each question, and you have to be short fast and very precise okay let's get started Colin here's your very first question coming up what do you do when the market is down hmm that is going to be a timely one or that that's a that's a really really timely one because almost every market we look at is in fact down um I'll point to um episode I think it was 23 we had Mahesh um on there Mahesh is this here you go there's Mahesh Mahesh is a um, serial entrepreneur. He is um, leading the, the charge in terms of like um, innovation in, in multiple different markets. Now in the in the um, like uh, Bitcoin or crypto market, like he's done some great things there. He's really really an intelligent guy. And you, the the thing that he said, Simon, that I think answers that question as simply as possible is when the market is down, you have to be innovative. In other words, you got to change. You got to do something different. You got to do something that everyone else isn't doing. Everyone else is like kind of like pulling back. Everyone else is tightening the strings. And what Mahesh said is you've got to figure out a way to innovate, be a little bit smarter, be a lot different, and you will succeed and grow through the tough market. 100% Colin. And for folks who don't know, Mahesh is also my boss. And one thing that he also says that Simon never complain, right? Don't come up with any complaints. <laughs> All right, Colin, that was well answered. Let's move to the next question. That is, how do you break through when you meet a new client? Hmm. All right. So th that also is kind of like near and dear to my heart. I, mm -hmm. as, as folks know who listen to the show and, and you know quite well, I coach a lot of salespeople. I coach a lot of um, sales executives. I coach a lot of entrepreneurs. And one of the things they're always asking me is, I'd like to break through to this person, or I'd like to meet this person, or I can't get in to see this person. And so how do I do that? And um, if you all remember, we had, I believe it was episode 24, we had Michael Zhang on the show. And he said two things, which I thought were really, really good as it relates to that topic, is research them. I know that sounds like, oh, really? Like, I, I always research my people. But he does this in-depth research. He does, doesn't just Google them. He doesn't just look on their LinkedIn. He doesn't just look at their website. He takes a full 360 view on everything he can to, that that everything he can to learn as much as he can about them. And then once he does that, that's one is he does his research. He takes about five to seven minutes per person that he's trying to meet. Then he takes one or two nuggets from that research and then he sends them something personal about something 
something personal to them about the research he's done. For example, he met a client or had known about a client, was looking to meet that client live and understood that that client had a large passion for a specific charity. Mike learned that through lots of research. Mike made a, a, a donation to that charity and let him know that one of the ways that he's looking to make an impact in life is by investing in the, um, the, the businesses or the charities or the movements that his clients are interested in. And so in that name, he made an investment in that charity. He immediately took the call and that person has now become a client. Research and personalization of, of, of the outreach is really what's working today.